Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here. Quick video this morning, but today I just wanted to pass along what I consider to be a pretty promising update that we got from the Division 2 development team, because while it doesn't go into specifics just yet, it kind of addresses the overall drama and turmoil that I would say this community has been in really ever since Ubisoft Forward, when they got the announcements of seasonal characters, seasons 2.0, and of course more recently the drama with the technical state of the game. In my mind, this is the kind of heartfelt and direct recognition of all of that, and hopefully sets us on a more positive path that we can look forward to seeing unveil in the coming weeks. So let's waste no time and get right into it. Alright, so this message that we got yesterday was courtesy of Pale Hofstein, who I've talked about plenty of times here before on the channel. He is the lead art producer for The Division 2 over in Massive, one of the key core leadership figures on the game. And upon resharing this to my audience over on Twitter, as well as reading the responses to his message itself, it's pretty clear to me that a lot of people see this as a very positive and inspiring update for the community. So, as I said, I wanted to reshare this with you all here. I will shout out, though, as this all happened yesterday, if you want even quicker updates on stuff like this, then definitely be sure to follow me over on Twitter, the link is down in the description. But here we go, I'll put it up on screen. In a two-parter, he said, D2 players, we're listening, working, planning, and making changes. News will come when it's ready. I'm a dev, but I'm a player too. Your frustrations are my frustrations. I'm supposed to be quiet until official communications. I'll take the hit. I'm used to being yelled at by you or my employer. It's fine. Be cool. Be kind. Hang on. Okay, so like I said, this doesn't give us any specifics on what kind of changes he alludes to that they might be making, but I think it's pretty indicative and telling of the current trajectory that we're seeing from the Division 2's official accounts online. As I talked about in my video the other day, and as people have been saying, the communication right now has been very scarce, right? They are not saying a lot. So if what Pale is saying here is to be believed, then what is probably happening is that they see that everybody is having a lot of thoughts and reactions to things right now. They're making changes accordingly, but until that stuff is more set in stone, there's really not much they're going to be able to say. And I think that is one thing that's really important to underscore here. It's something that I myself struggle to keep in mind a lot of the time, even when I made my suggestions in that other video that they should create like a Division 2 team account. Unfortunately, when you work at a company like Ubisoft, individual developers don't have autonomy when it comes to communication. Pretty much every post or communication that you make has to go through uh, marketing, PR, and all those different departments within the corporate structure. So for example, even if they wanted to come out and start, you know, saying all these things about what they might be thinking, maybe PR says, no, you have to lock that stuff down down more before you're actually able to speak on it. And that's why Pele says in his thing, I'm supposed to be quiet until official communications. I'm very grateful that he bypassed that and sent this message out anyway. I certainly hope that the blowback isn't too hard on him for that, because as I said, and as many of the people in the community said when this message went out, we're very appreciative that he's able to come out and say some of that stuff, where even though it doesn't give specifics yet, it tells us that, yeah, they see us, they're working on some changes. And so that's the majority of the message today. I don't know when we should expect to hear more about what he's talking about here, maybe next week, maybe in the next two, three weeks. But my take from this is that they see everything that's been going on since Ubisoft Forward, and in some way, I expect that we're going to hear about modified plans for Seasons 2.0 overall, probably the technical state of the game as well after TU21. So yeah, my friends, that's the news to share with you today. So there you have it, my friends. That is a small, but like I said, I think pretty promising update from the Division 2 development team regarding all of the feedback and discourse and issues that the game has been having over these past several weeks. Once again, I commend Pale for coming out and saying those things. It was very needed. I truly hope that he doesn't get in too much trouble for that. But yeah, whatever changes might be in the works and whenever we do hear about it, I certainly hope that it sets us on a better path moving forward. Everybody wants the game to do well. I do. You do. The devs do. I think Seasons 2.0 has the promise to do a lot of beneficial things for the game if they're willing to listen to what players are saying about the aspects of it that they don't like. And if that gives us a new fun seasonal model to move forward towards with things like the DLC on the horizon and all of that, the Division 2 could be headed to some pretty bright places. So, as I said, I look forward to seeing what they've got in store. But in the meantime, I would love to know your thoughts on this short update that we got today. What do you think about Pale's words? What sorts of changes do you think they might be working on? Let me know all your thoughts as usual down below. If you enjoyed the video and you want to stay up to date on the latest with the Division 2, then I hope you'll consider clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already. As always, I'll keep you posted. That is going to do it for me today, though. Everybody, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Rogue Gold, out.